What's more American than apple pie? What game was Honest Dave playing before he was president? What activity is most popular in Japan and Cuba? The answer, my friends, is baseball. Baseball is played with nine players on each team and nine innings long, with each inning lasting three outs. If a batter is unable to reach base, then he is considered an out. The team that is able to score the most runs around each of the four bases is the winner. Baseball was originally intended to be an amateur sport with no wages dealt. However, many of the players were secretly getting paid. Some were given jobs by sponsors, and some were secretly getting paid salaries just for playing. In 1869, the Cincinnati Red Stockings decided to become the first professional team. Brothers Harry and George Wright recruited the best players from around the country. The Cincinnati team won 65 games and lost none. The idea of paid players quickly caught on. The first recorded baseball contest took place in 1846 when Alexander Cartwright and his Knickerbocker Baseball Club lost to the New York Baseball Club. But one of the main parts that was lost in the story is the fact that none of the players in the game were colored. When we look back, we can see that most of baseball's early history is composed of mostly white players. One of the most historic white players in baseball's history was George Babe Ruth. He had been a successful pitcher early in his career with the Boston Red Sox, but in 1919, New York Yankees bought his contract and made him an outfielder. He was one of the most tremendous hitters in the league and still holds records to this day. On October 16, 1867, the start of segregation began when the Pennsylvania State Convention of Baseball in Harrisburg denied a colored baseball club. Two months later, the National Association of Baseball Players decided to ban any club including one or more colored persons. From the 1920s to the 1940s, many black baseball clubs were established, and there were even several Negro or colored leagues in operation. Baseball was considered segregated until Jackie Robinson signed with the Brooklyn Dodgers organization in 1946. Still, integration was a very slow process. Other teams were slow to adopt African American players and other minority players. It was another 10 years after Jackie Robinson had joined the league before all the teams had integrated, and it wasn't until the early 60s that professional baseball could truly call itself integrated. After the integration, baseball became even more popular. In 1960, another rival league appeared. Although a handful of teams had moved, most of them were concentrated in the Northeast. Large cities in the South and the West wanted teams of their own. The league agreed to expand and went from 16 teams to 24 by the end of the decade. The players loved this because the expansion meant more jobs. Baseball prospered economically as attendance continued to grow and national television and radio contracts brought in huge amounts of money. Today there are 30 professional teams in the major leagues. The average player makes 3.5 million dollars a year. Throughout the years we have seen plenty of influential players with mixed interracial backgrounds such as Mark McGuire, Mickey Mantle, Ken Griffey Jr., Sammy Sosa, Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, Nolan Ryan, just to name a few. With statistics showing that the major leagues are made up of 60% white, 9% black, 28.5% Hispanic, and 2.5% Asian. I hope you see now that the game of baseball has truly evolved in its lifetime. It went from an amateur sport where players didn't get paid a single dime to now players getting paid multi-million dollar contracts. But most importantly, it went from a game being played by only whites to a game of players of all different races. Who knows where the game will be another 150 years from now.